what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerome Fit. Man, it's I would say coming to you this beautiful day, but it's actually pretty damn gloomy and depressing outside here in Texas, man. But hopefully, this video I'm dropping today will brighten up y'all day. I uh, hope you guys been enjoying my last few tutorial videos and my last few vids in general. I'm definitely trying to bring more consistent content and interesting and helpful content. So today's, uh, I guess, say tutorial. An instructional video will be about triceps. Y'all asked for it, man. So I'm gonna give it to y'all, man. Urgh! How to build up these triceps, all right? Uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a real brief anatomy about the triceps real quick. I'm not trying to bore y'all with the science class or whatever, or anatomy class. Uh, just remember the triceps are compromised of three heads. You got the big fat mama right here. Baby up top here. And then right here. Right there, bam, so one, Upper part right right about here. Then you have your lung right here. That big baby right there. That lung right here, right? All right, so now. The thing about tricep training in general, or just arm training in general, if you want some bigger ass looking arms, train triceps. The tricep compromise about 75% of this area here, okay? So if you want some bigger ass looking arms, would it make more sense to make the bi or tricep bigger as opposed to the biceps, all right? Now. The thing about tricep training I see in general, people make certain mistakes of, I see too much variation in tricep training. I'm gonna say that again. I see two people doing too many exercises. I'm gonna show you like three exercises I've done all my life for tricep training. And you guys tell me if you think it, it, it paid off or not, okay? So like I said, uh, with tricep training in general, man, I've noticed people do too many exercises. Keep it real, real simple. For one, you wanna know if the exercises you're doing are working. If you're doing six, seven different exercises, how will you know if that particular exercise is working? Especially if you're a beginner. Like I said, I'm gonna repeat it. If I repeat it, I mean it. I see people doing too many exercises for just triceps, all right? Also, remember, even though triceps, even though your biceps typically are bigger than the biceps, triceps can actually take more volume over the biceps, okay? So they can be trained more frequently. Keep that in mind as well. So why you, why you might have to train you have the biceps a little less frequently because they can be burnt out. The, tri, the, the triceps can take more. Not only can they take more consistent training, they can take more volume. So when I do my triceps training, my rep ranges aren't 10 to 12, they're usually 15 to 25. Still heavy weight because like I said, you want to, uh, and another reason for that is because the, the tricep muscle in itself is one of the few muscles that have, it basically has basically added equal amounts of type one and type two muscle fibers. If you don't know what type one and type two is, Google it, motherfucker. Don't put down in the comments, but Drew, what are type one and type two? You can ask Jesus, you can ask Google just like you're asking me, okay? Now, that is why the triceps benefit from a higher volume style of training. But they also still need that brute force training, but you get that from bench pressing, shoulder pressing, and whatnot. So typically, as you will see in these videos, like I'm not gonna do a full tricep video, like I said, I'm doing more talking and instruction, okay? Because that's what tutorials are, I'm instructing you go anywhere and watch somebody do a skull crusher, but the why, how, and the what, you gotta come to me for, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, tricep training, high volume, and a small number of exercise selections, okay? I'm gonna show you maybe three exercises Maybe four, because it's the beginning of the video. Don't, I don't want to see assholes be doing that too. I'm like, I'll show you guys three exercises, and then I'll show you four, and then you complain about the fact that I gave you extra work. Oh, it made no sense to do it. Back on track, because from time to time I get the rank. But like I said, remember, <laughs> the important thing about tricep training is what? Volume, not too many exercises. And also, let me keep it 100% with you. If you trying to build some fucking triceps, get the fuck off the cables, okay? Huh? I didn't even know cables existed until a couple years ago. You know what I'm saying? So I built my, my triceps through what I'm about to show you here. Now, if you want a little couple, a little extra definition, a little more cuts, whatever like that, absolutely, we're going to go over there, okay? That's, to me, that's common sense, okay? Or if you want to put some mass and some meat on there, we're going to wrap, around, wrap our hands around these bars and lift heavy. Let me get tugged this tricep shit because I done talk long enough. Y'all want to see some damn action. All right. 
So stay tuned. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's about how to build some sexy ass nice All right, triceps. YouTube, what's good? Back to my tricep video. <laughs> and like I said previously, I'm only going to show you like three to four important exercises. I'm not going to waste you guys' time doing a bunch of things that I just don't think are important. So the first exercise I'm going to let me backtrack on that. This will actually be the second exercise. First exercise I would do for my uh, triceps would be dips, all right? If you don't know how to do dips, you need to go back and watch my vid dip tutorial video because I'm definitely not going to rehash something I'll do the video on again, all right? So first thing you would have done was dips, and that's to get the triceps and everything warmed up, all right? Now, whether you're doing assisted dips or regular dips, that's based upon what uh, level of training you are at, all right? So the first exercise I do, and I think one of the best exercises for tricep development is the skull crusher, right? You can do it now. You can do that on a flat bench, an incline bench, or even a decline bench, all right? Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you to where you feel it at the most. But if you just did it straightly on a flat bench, you're fine, all right? I actually do a skull crusher close grip combination. I'm sure if you guys ever lifted weights in high school, your first exercise for triceps probably was that. Skull crusher superset it with the burnouts, all right? I'm going to show you my form for the skull crusher because I go a little different than other people. Most people do their skull crusher come bar to the head, which is why it's called a, 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 why it's called a skull crusher, obviously. But what I do is because one of the things people don't, maybe don't realize from my videos is even though I'm a short person, I'm a short dude with long arms, okay? So I don't have a short range of motion for my arms. I got a long trim. <laughs> for my arms, I have a long trim. <laughs> Not a short stroke. I don't have a short stroke. I'm a long stroke. All right. So, with that being said, so me coming here to here, look at that. me coming here to here is not going to be a, a beneficial movement for me. Okay. So when I do mine, I come here behind the head. As you will see, I call those full range of motion skull pressures. Now, if you guys got elbow problems or things of that nature, then I probably wouldn't recommend you use that wide range of motion or drop the weight back a little bit and then try it that way. But like I said, I will say one thing I will admit, I did stop doing skull crushes for a while because my elbow started hurting. But once I started taking glucosamine and chondroitin, which is a joint supplement, that basically knocked that problem out the ballpark. So if you are having joint pains and stuff like that, find a good joint supplement that works for you. All right, but let me go into the skull crusher, right? Now, I don't care what nobody says, all right? I don't care what nobody says. Tricep needs to be worked heavy, but it also needs the volume. So the thing is, you're trying to figure out what's the heaviest weight you can lift properly with your triceps for 15 to 25 reps. Like I tell you, I've been, I've been, guys, I've been lifting weights for years. But very rarely do I go over this amount of weight, okay? Rarely do I go over this amount of weight. They're probably like, wow, Troy, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I can probably throw two, three, four, five over here and do some shitty form. Like I'm telling you guys, this is my baby. Like when I bench, or press, my favorite weight is 225. I feel it, it's perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not too easy. It's not, but if, if I can do 12 reps, I, I go 13, 14, 15, and it feels just as, as heavy. So the same thing with this. Some days I might come out, I might knock 15 reps out of that, and I might be a struggle and I barely finish. And some days I'm like, man, shit, this shit's feeling light as hell, and I knock out 25. That's how you need to come about. If you're coming up on 12 reps, you're like, man, this is easy. Okay, 15 is your goal. Now, if you get to 15 reps and it was a breeze, knock out that extra 10. Remember, like I said prior, triceps like volume, okay? They need that volume. They have two types of muscle fibers, type one, type two, okay? One type of muscle fiber likes low volume, which is heavy weight, and the other one responds to volume and repetition. So you're trying to find a good middle ground. So let me get into the exercise. Oh, my God. Like I said, this is my bread and butter, my favorite exercise for triceps. I see the shit all over the air now. All right. Now remember, okay? So here, now I got my feet flat, my core is tight, and I'm leaning the weight back here, okay? Me doing that engages my, my lats also, okay? So I go back and I set it behind my head, and I flex. 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 Back. And 
Netflix. Right into my clothes group. I know y'all gonna ask me, okay? Well, what about isolating different hands with the tricep? Blah, 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 blah. I am a firm believer of hitting all three tricep hands at the same time. Now, with that being said, you're gonna have some exercises that target certain areas of the uh, tricep head a little more. For example, the skull crushers, yes, it hits all three of the tricep heads, but it really targets the big, the one everybody sees, okay? So like I said, all these exercises I'm gonna show you target all three heads of the tricep with some a little more than others so you can have complete tricep development. So that was the first one, skull crushers. So remember, I would say between 15 and 25 reps of a weight, a heavy weight that you can do, heavy enough. Not too light, not too heavy where your form is shitty. And you're trying to improve the strength and the reps. So like I said, if you're starting out with one tail on each side for 15 reps, let's make a goal. We're going to go a 10 and a 5 for 15 reps. Then work it up your way up to a two 10s for 15 reps, okay? Or you can take, you can go from there, one 10 on each side, and go from 15 reps to 25 reps. And then, if you add a 5, go back down to 15, and then try to hit 25 reps on the next one. So like I said, you got to mess around and play with it. But like I said, it's about volume. No 10 reps, none of that shit. Your triceps ain't gonna grow. Give it up. It's not gonna happen. You might have to think if you're doing presses, you might have a nice looking chest, maybe some shoulders, but triceps just don't respond to that. Okay? So remember, that's the skull crusher with the close grip bench superset. That's as old school as it gets. Everybody remembers that one, man. I don't care who you are. If you look the weights ever in life, you, that's the one you know. All right? All right, everybody. Now we're gonna go into the next uh, tricep exercise. Let's go to do the dumbbell tricep extension uh, on, on, on this here, right here. Boom, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate the form a little bit without the weight, but I'm gonna show you with the weight. And remember, okay, so you're gonna sit down, back nice and flat. Sit down, make sure it's small in your back. It's right here, man. Flush through the hand. Don't take those shoulders back, okay? Remember, when you grab the dumbbell, like okay, I say, a lot of people grip the dumbbell like this. Don't do that, man. Think about like when you're catching a football, right? When you catch a football like this, right? So you're gonna be here. That is how you press the dumbbell, okay? If you grab it here, you're not getting the pop proper extension, okay? See, when I go here, so right here, it's more like you're doing a hammer, what you're hammering for, okay? That is, that, that is wrong. This is right. You're going straight up, boom, not straight here. You're not trying to go there. So here, up. So that's why you're going to be here. You're not really gripping the dumbbell. Out here like that. What I think is, the reason people, some people use that grip is because it's, it, it looks cosmetically cool as in you can lift more weight that way. You can probably lift 100 pound dumbbell that way as opposed to 80 pounds. Well, I would have some good ass looking triceps as opposed to being a cool looking weight lifter, you know what I'm saying? So remember, <laughs> every, no matter what exercise you do, your back needs to be flush with this pad. I see a lot of this new age shit people looking out here chiropractor and your medical insurance provider thanks you very much because you're about to get in all types of business okay please back flush against the pad that helps engage the core as well and then roll the shoulders back give yourself a good nice strong base so the only thing that you're using are your triceps all right and same as before you're trying to lift as heavy as possible between 15 and 25 reps and if you can only do eight reps of the weight Either the weight is ridiculously too heavy or you are not in condition enough. And you should do some push-ups or something like that. All right, a tricep extension. Here we go. Remember, all right, I'm by myself. See, look, here, my hands here, my hands are flush. Bam. Back, and the back of the pad. Boom, nice and tight. Yeah. 
understand, okay? If you're doing this with a spotter, then go all, all go to a failure, absolutely. And your spotter is gonna take the weight away from you, blah, say blah. If you're doing the shit by yourself, and you start to fatigue, I would rather you cut it off one or two reps short. If you get rip your shoulders out of sight or something else happens, you can always go through it on to another set. Long story short, okay? So if you don't have a spotter, be very careful because your shoulders are in a dangerous position. Okay? So like I said, so I try to use a good weight. Rock the handle. Remember, keep that back nice and tight. Form nice and tight. And remember here, the diamond. Okay? And you are flexing the tricep at the top and bringing it back down. So flex, squeeze. And a good rhythm. I see a lot of people lift weights, especially with the triceps a little bit too slow. Be explosive. Boom. Explosive. Boom. Skull crush. Explosive. Explosive. Hits. Explosive. Explosive. Everything explosive. Under control. Alright? Now, if I go on to the next exercise. Alright, everybody. Now, we're going to finish it off. Matter of fact, no. This was going to be the last one. That's my last jewel just popped up my head. We got one more after this. But, now, I know I said I don't do cables, but I treat cable press downs like a mass building movement, baby. Because you can go heavy as park on this thing. And it still hits all three heads of the triceps, like I said. Now, I'm going to go into my focus. Same thing, 15 to 25 reps. That's a, remember that theme on these triceps, man. If you're not hitting 15s and 25, baby, what you're doing with your life, all right? Heat game. Fuck, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I'm gonna go ahead and go slightly heavy, not playing around, all right? Uh, here, uh, tight to the body, all right? Don't just fling the weight, don't do that. Flex the triceps. Press down. Uh, flex every time. Oh, yes. Remember what the tricep is responsible for. The tricep is responsible for extending out the elbow. Extending out here, okay? So when you're training your triceps, that makes sense to extend out fully, okay? Flex that tricep, man. Flex, all right? I'm gonna do it again. I'm not just popping the weight. All right, boom, here, look. Here, I'm flexing. Back in. And remember, keeping the triceps tight, or excuse me, arms tight to the bottom. Arms are tight to the bottom. Boom. 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 Flex the triceps. Yeah. 15 to 25. Now, like I said before, if you take in a decent brace break, 30, seconds to a minute and you're not able to hit 15 reps man eat that humble pie and back off on the weight a little bit but hit them weights man that's the most or excuse me hit those numbers 15 to 25 you want to try to build that strength within the 15 to 25 rep range especially if we're remember we're talking about specifically training triceps i'm not trying to say presses you know, not with the bench press, we're talking about just tricep growth and development. We're not talking about chest, bench press, we're talking about triceps. <laughs> Shameless cameo! <laughs> She's hiding. <laughs> It's like playing a, what's that game called? Where are you looking up for the Pokemon? What's on Pokemons? Pokemons. Okay. Sw Swolimons. Game Central. Ooh, I just got 50,000 more views. I just got 50,000 more views. But yeah. Cameos. We got two chains. Y'all know we got two chains coming. Y'all don't play this at 24. Only when we here. They say, I say, I walk, hey man. I say, this music ain't cutting it. They got a DJ, they got a DJ in here, he say. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Don't do pre-workout. Don't take pre-workout because that's what I do. No comments. Don't take two scoops. <laughs> no comments. 
Take it how you want it. Take it how you want it. Live how you want to live. You want to live safe or you want to live wide? Yeah. Okay, this went on too long than what it should. I might, I may not cut that part out. I'll leave it in. That's good. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, time to wrap up this tricep tutorial video, man. You know, as they say, old school is the best school. So I'm gonna finish this thing with one of the old school routines, man. Tricep kickbacks. If you already know what a tricep kickback is, I'm all, if, you do, if you do, or if you don't know, I'm about to refresh your memory, all right? This is an amazing way to finish your triceps. This is how I used to always finish my tricep workouts over the years. It's the last thing I did. Now, this one is different in the number as in you have to 25. The goal is to do 25 because you really trying to finish out, max out, and burn out these triceps, all right? Now, obviously, to do 25 reps, you're not gonna grab 80 pounds, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate this here with the 15s, okay? YouTube on YouTube. Huh? Right, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube squared. Cross cat, cross, cross, cross collab, right? Cross collab. Now, remember, bend over at the waist. Go bend over at the waist. Boom. And. Remember to uh, most people I will watch this. This is wrong. You do not want to go if you go parallel with the body is wrong. You need to go uh. Love that volume, guys. 10 reps ain't gonna cut it. 15s, that's called bare bucket minimum. All right, 25s, man. Try to hit 25s on these. All right, now I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. I should have used 12.5s. That was a confession. Look, I was confessed on camera. Look, that was a confession. I should have used 12.5s. My ego got the best of me. I grabbed the 15s. I got the 15 reps. I was like, man, fuck. I should have grabbed the thing. But here it is, right? That was a confessional camera, right? Maybe I'll start, maybe I'll pull that slow ass music too. Like, I'm just playing, but yeah. Tricep kickbacks are a great way to finish off your tricep workout. I hope you guys like this tutorial video. And remember, a couple things that you have to take from this video is remember the small amount of exercises that I did. If I'm not mistaken, I was like four exercises, give or take. So not a lot of variation in the exercises, okay? The reason I did not show, I did close grip, but I did them in conjunction with the skull crushers. And the reason why I did that is because on a personal level, let me say that again, on a personal level, that means me, <laughs> Jerron, I do not feel close grip bench presses on my triceps per se. For me, it is an amazing shoulder workout. My triceps don't get the work, so I wasn't growing. The stuff I showed you is what I like, okay? Now, if you're doing close grip bench presses and your triceps are explode with growth, disregard what I just said. But if your triceps are not growing, okay, maybe close grip bench press is not good for you, or maybe you need to do the skull crushes first no, and then use it for a superset. Because hey, well, that's what I did. Like I said, I was doing close grip and when nothing was going. I got some big ass shoulders and that's what presses in general. But like I said, remember, okay, I didn't show you the dips, but that's what I do first, okay? If you need help with your dips, please go back and re-watch my dip tutorial video if you have not watched it already, okay? All kind of information you need about the dip, okay? The second exercise was the skull crush, okay? Remember, that's 15 to 25 reps, okay? If you don't hit the 25, that's cool, but you do want to be able to get 25 on some uh, of the weights. It's not mandatory all the time, but you get the idea I'm trying to show you, okay? And then the next thing is the dumbbell tricep extensions, also 15 to 25, okay? So, and remember, the weight is always trying to, the heaviest weight you can use for 15 reps with correct form. No baby weight, but not so heavy you do a sloppy, shitty rest. And remember on the uh, the tricep extension with the dumbbells, if you can use it, have a spotter, please do. If you don't, 
it's okay to cut that one a little safe, or excuse me, a little bit shorter, because the dangerous precarious position that you are in. So in a situation like that, it's okay to cut a few short for safety reasons, okay? Uh, then the next one was the tricep push down, okay? That is one of my favorite, favorite machines for one, I didn't show it, but you can move the pin around a lot and do a lot of drop sets, okay? So if you do one set, maybe 15 reps, then it was easy you to drop the weight down for a harder set, knock out another couple, and you get that idea, okay? Remember, straight form, and remember the tricep muscle is designed to push down, to lock down, lock out, okay? That's what you need to be doing, whether you're doing it here, here, or here. And the tricep needs to be locked out and contracted, okay? Now, then the last thing I did was the tricep kickbacks. Now, that is where you really need to gun for 25 reps, okay? Really go for that volume. Now, with that being said, you're not gonna be able to lift 50 pounds on a kickback, and you shouldn't be unless you're a 300 pound monster, okay? <laughs> I've been doing these for years. Fuck years, yeah, damn, almost 20 years, okay? And I have not really ever went over 20 pounds, okay? And I think my triceps are all right. You know what I mean? It's not mandatory. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. Like I say, now, <laughs> on all the other exercises, absolutely. But, but you're, we're trying to build strength, not in the one to two rep range, but in the 15 rep, the 25 rep range. That's the difference, okay? Because if you have one person who can lift 300 pounds once, he's gonna look different than somebody who can lift 300 pounds 10 times. My personal opinion, okay? So, I hope you guys can learn something from this video. If you have some questions about triceps directly involving triceps, comment below, okay? Don't ask me no shit about nobody's fucking breakup. Don't ask me about why people are on the damn team. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. Nothing about fucking business, man. If you have been in while, while, whilst I'm on this shit, right? Never in the life of Gerard Mosley you have to talk about nobody else's fucking business, okay? Because it ain't my business. Stop asking me what's going on with everybody else's shit. If you are a dude worried about what another nigga does and you got a woman, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself, okay? Because your girl cheating on you, man. If you <laughs> if you worried about what another nigga, I'm gonna go hang out with Kevin and see your old girl is going to Tyrone house or Kevin house <laughs> and chilling who ain't worried about what his nigga's doing or his homie's doing, okay? So you can take that. I hope y'all take, don't be offended. I didn't call nobody's name out. No, no, I don't want no, like I followed you guys. Listen, man, mind your own fucking business. Get out other people's lives, okay? I know the saying this is YouTube and you want to be engaged, but god damn it. That's why I don't post shit on my life on Facebook or YouTube. Because when you motherfuckers talk shit, I'm gonna show up at your house. <laughs> With the screenshot, like, are you uh, Smith202114? I just want to make sure before I fuck you up. I'm just playing. But seriously, stay out of people's lives, man. There's somebody going through a breakup. And furthermore, man, listen, man. Please grab your checklist. Supplies. The game is the game, all right? The game is the game, all right? Wow. Oh, listen, the game is the game, all right? And if you a motherfucker going to another cat's page talking about what he doing with his girl or what he doing with her boyfriend, you, you use a hoe ass. You a, you the worst of the worst, man. You, 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 you like in jail, you be like scum. Like, you, you a snitch. Like, that's the worst kind of person in the world, man. If you that type of person, man, I don't fuck with you, right? If you the type of person who you see a dude out with a girl or something, you put that person on a blast, you's a punk, and I don't like you. You can grow up. If you're a person worried about what another man does, grow up. Like, we're grown men. Like, Jesus, oh my God, like, I, would, I wish somebody would try to hang on me every day. A dude, what? I didn't want to hang on with my girlfriend every day, guys. Like, what am I going to hang on another man for every day? I'm trying to get out of the house sometimes, you know? I might want to go for a walk or some shit. I'm going to hang out with you every day. Butt buddies. I'm not moving together, wearing each other's underwear and shit, man. That ain't cool, man. Be your own man. Don't worry about what the next cat doing. Focus on you. Focus on your woman, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop worrying about what the next cat doing with his girl. Maybe if you took time and worry about what you were doing with your lady, she wouldn't be doing other shit she wouldn't supposed to be doing. <laughs> That's my public service. Rant. That's my public service announcement in of rants. But I hope you guys like to enjoy the video. I hope you found some good information out the video, okay? Hey, that's called a positive sandwich, guys. <laughs>
just gave you guys a positive sandwich, okay? <laughs> that was some psychology, okay? Okay, you put you put the good comment out here, okay, bam. You put the bad comment in here, okay? Maybe with a little bit of mayonnaise or some shit like that, some condiments on it. But then you put the bro the good comment here, that's the bread, okay? So you got bad, good, the bad, and then the good. See, so don't leave on a bad note, okay? Y'all just learned a little bit of basic psychology, man. I hope I'm putting y'all on game, man. Y'all better enjoy these videos. I can share my shit, man. Because if you do it, y'all are depriving the world of some good comedy, man. That's some good fucking stuff.